you guys welcome to a new video on my channel in today's video i want to go over uh three ak builds that i made going from budget to the absolute meta so i just want to hop straight into the build and what i want to show you is which part you need where you can get them and how much they will cost and at the end i will do some sort of a conclusion which build is the best bang for your buck for this video I will use the AK-74M but most of the things are also compatible with the AK-74N so I just chose the 74M because it has slightly lower recoil like the base recoil so I chose this one for your budget build you're gonna need the RK-12 regular pistol grip recoil pad AK-100 polymer handguard TT-01 or the pk 6 or another site so I want to do a breakdown of the cost um, you're gonna uncheck this one you're not gonna need this you're not gonna need this as well you're not gonna need this I will explain later um, remove the AK 74M but so the, the parts you need to buy from the presets or somewhere else in the flea market are these things uh, and because I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna type in AK and dash 74 so yeah there it is ak74m and you can buy them for 29k here one with a um, muzzle brake for 30k and mechanic one to s wants to sell you this piece of shit which doesn't have stuff on it and that's why the preset also says that you need a gas tube and that type of stuff but if you buy it like this on the flea market you can just put your attachments on there um, you can just put the attachments you bought on there and then you're then you're ready so now on to the first build um, you're gonna start with a plain AK-74M we're gonna start by putting our dust cover on our pistol grip the AK-12 your stock with a butt pad then you wanna put here the TT-01 let's say Side uh, mount, you're gonna put on the PK06 or another side you like. AK74 gas tube, your standard muzzle brake, the AK polymer handguard, and that's it. It's it's done. All right, so on to some footage of me shooting in the shooting range. Um, I'm gonna do standing single fire, standing full auto, crouching single fire, and crouching full auto. So see for yourself. So for your medium build, you're gonna need the DTK-1, RK-0, RK-100 polymer handguard, RP-1, PK-06 or another side, AK recoil pad, and the RK-3. So now cost breakdown of the second AK. This one is, as you might expect, a bit pricier. Uh, but you're gonna uncheck the uh, gas tube and the polymer stock. You're also gonna uncheck the AK-74M for the same reason as I showed you with the first bullet. You're just gonna buy the full AK-74 from the flea market for way cheaper. So you're gonna buy these parts. These are around 50k. I already bought them, <coughs> so I'm not gonna buy them again. But yeah, buy these these parts. Okay, so this is our second build. We're gonna start by putting on the Bastion um, dust cover or AK-3 pistol grip. The standard polymer stock with a butt pad, the AK-74 gas tube, then we want to put on the TTK-1 or AK polymer handguard. Why I chose this one is because it has the possibility to put on a foregrip, so we're gonna go with the RK-0, why I will explain a bit later. Uh, there's also um, room for a flashlight or a laser or what else you you, you like to, to put on there uh, and it's it's really cheap so yeah these are the two things why I choose this so now onto the RK1 um, I've experimented with this a bit and looked the stats up uh, I was thinking about the RK1 or RK0 but the RK0 is way 
cheaper and it does are exactly the same it, it has one point less recoil control but you're you're not even gonna notice that it, it's so 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 small but it's three times cheaper than the RK1 so yeah put on the the RK0 and then uh, PK06 and the RP1 charging head on then we're done okay so in the background you can again see some shooting range footage uh, with this time with the medium build and as you can see um, this one is also good while standing with full auto so that's really important because sometimes in the fire event, you know you're walking and you gotta shoot directly while walking so you don't have time to crouch and yeah it's it's a pretty solid build so for the meta build you're gonna need the cmdr handguard pdc dust cover pt 74 m 100 pt lock the pt3 rk3 6 inch vitor cas v that's like the um the little mount on your handguard pws cqb 74 and the pko6 or another site you like and also the rp1 charging handle so now on to our last build this is the meta lowest recoil build so as you might expect this one is expensive but again we're gonna uncheck the ak-74m right here and the um the strip build and then you're gonna buy all these parts for around 140k so uh, it's not that extremely high but it, it's quite much but yeah these buy these parts Okay, so now on to our last build, our Epic Gamer, Meta Gamer <laughs> build. So we're gonna start with uh, a RP1 charging handle, your PDC dust cover, the AK-74 gas tube, and then you wanna put on the CMDR. So you can't just put stuff on there, you need additional mounts, so you can go with the Vitor uh, key mod, put it right on there. Then you can put your RK2 on there. Um, and then the PWS uh, now the RK3 our PT lock and the PT3 stock and then uh, a site you like uh, whatever you want and then it's done so some footage here with me shooting the Meta AK uh, this is the 140 um, K build but yeah, you can also see that back in the in the performance, you know, uh, every bullet hits the hits the mark. As you can see, doesn't matter if I'm standing, crouching, full auto, single fire. This thing is just a uh, it's a laser beam, as you can see. So now on to the sort of conclusion. Um, all the three builds are good in its own way like if you want to go for a low recoil build you're just gonna pick the meta one uh, it's also expensive but you have really really low recoil uh, but if you're on a budget you're gonna pick the second one or you just like want to go mid here you uh, buy the second one um, but like the the actual conclusion is that the AK-74 doesn't need much attachments to make it actually function good because the AK-74 uh, has already so low recoil, uh, base recoil, it's it's so controllable as you saw in the videos uh, I posted where I shoot the guns, the first build, the budget build, didn't even have that much recoil and it's really controllable, so and it's also something I want to tell you, um, buy good ammo, good ammo is the key in this game, if you have a shit AK but you have BS and Econic loaded, you can kill everybody if you use your meta AK and you're just like I don't want to spend much money on bullets they're so expensive and you buy yourself PS rounds for BP or even BT um, that's just not gonna do much you're not gonna drop people that fast and most of the time it's getting you killed because you're in a 1v1 and he just has the AK with the Egonic ammo you're sitting there with your PS ammo but with your nice modded meta HK and you're just, you just gonna lose it because the ammo didn't pen enough um, so yeah that's also something 
all right that would be it for this video thank you for watching and liked it if you like it disliked if you did not like it and um yeah please consider subscribing if you uh, enjoy my videos it would really help me out uh, and um yeah see you guys in the next video cheers